and with water in a bottle, you prime your face with it. Actually, and I, and I hope you put paint that much water. And this one's perfect for what's it called when you are tanned using the Bondi Sands tan. When I say a little bit, I mean like legitimately a tiny bit. Put some on the bridge of your nose, I feel really. And then on your chin. Alright, next question. One second. He initially messaged me. My post was about Abby because Abby was a little puppy back then. <laughs> You look like a girl, like a girl, like a face. You don't like looking at me like this. You look like so washed out, and I look like a complete mess. But hello, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, how are you? My name is Natalie. I'd love it if you guys can subscribe to this channel and stick around. But I'm trying to be very quiet because we are doing a different kind of video today. Good morning everyone. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. If you guys are new here, I am recording this video as a little bit of an add-on to another video that I'm doing. So you guys will definitely see the intro there. But I am going to be doing a little bit of a hair transformation vlog. Sorry about my phone. It's my sister because we've got a brow appointment. But oh gosh, what's going on? Um, but yeah, I am doing a little bit of a hair transformation. As you guys know, I have ruined my hair by going to the wrong hairdresser and constantly telling him that he was ruining my hair but he didn't care as long as he got his money um, and I paid a lot of money for that but if you guys want a little rant about a hairdresser that I went to I am not afraid to name and shame and everything so I will and I can do a hair um, how I damaged my hair kind of video but in this video today we're gonna be chopping this bad boy off I'm gonna be chopping my extensions off as well I asked a lot of you on Instagram if I should keep the extensions in and chop it off or take them out and whatnot but you guys said leave it in and I'm thinking of going I'm gonna pop like a photo over here of the vibes that I'm going for but what length wise I'm thinking of going maybe up to there and even just holding it like that like that even looks healthier do you know what I mean you feel me and maybe, maybe I might get a fringe. Maybe I might get a curtain fringe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going through a quarter life crisis. I don't know. I'm getting depressed. I just want to, I just want to do something with my head because it just looks empty. At least if it's short and I'm, I know I'm rambling on, at least if it's short, I can, um, definitely, um, what's it called? Zhuzh it up a little bit, spike it up a little bit, you know, add in a little bit of hair care, whatever. Um, I digress. I'm going to grab my breakfast, breakfast meaning my little protein bars, um, and then head out the door. I am going to a local um, hairdresser. Is there something on my screen? that'll do yeah um i am going to a hairdresser in penrith if you guys are in the penrith region um i would 100 recommend them they fixed my hair color up they made it lovely i absolutely love them and if you guys do end up going there it's equal imaging um in penrith there's one in balmain as well but you guys can use my code nat5 for five percent off your total hair order I order hair services whatever anyway let's get going Lunch shopping list, mobile. Hi kids. Lego. We're doing a I've done my makeup probably wrong kind of video and that doesn't know about it so I'm just gonna go sit there I'm gonna pretend it's a Q&A because I did ask you guys questions on my Instagram shameless plug I'm gonna pop my Instagram on the screen and it's always in the description part below but if you guys um I want to see me do my makeup horribly wrong answer some questions and see my husband's reaction to it just keep watching okay I've seen a couple of um TikToks YouTube videos on people doing this and you do your makeup very very wrong I forgot to add this you do your makeup very very wrong so I'm picking up my makeup right now and um 
you see the reaction you talk about the makeup palettes and the shadows and everything that you're using um, and all of your brushes and everything being extremely expensive um, and that's how you do the um, makeup challenge so I'm gonna be sitting there and in front of him I'm gonna talk about the makeup being like so expensive even though they're not and I'm gonna talk about how much money I spent on each palette each brush and everything like that so I'm gonna get legit my shittiest um, makeup products that I don't use and let's get should have gotten a palette yes. with a mirror hmm? I said I should have gotten a palette with a mirror why? Because I don't have a mirror. There's no problem. Do you need a mirror? Oh, this is what we go through, guys. Okay, so the purpose of today's video is I'm just going to be sitting and doing my makeup because I don't have any makeup on at the moment. And we're just going to answer some questions with Ned and I'm going to watch him play. So it's going to be a very um, boring kind of video. But I'm going to talk about the makeup that I'm using today. So I've chosen out my favorite ones. And to be precise, the more high-end kind of um, makeup products that I have at the moment, because I did actually give away heaps. Let's see what you think about the makeup as well. The makeup product, sorry. So over here, you guys can't see, but I've got just two um, setting waters, and then I have um, some beauty drops, like for a primer kind of. And I want to try something different. I want to use cream contouring instead of powder. So I'll answer the questions in a little bit, but starting off with my Unicorn Primer Drops, it's from Barry M. I think I paid about $67 for this one, but it's really, really good. It's literally just water in a bottle and you prime your face with it. Would you pay $60 no. for it? Why? Well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you for paying that much money. I think this is actually expired to be honest because it's not even coming out and this used to be drops but now it's just like solid it's like long in here if i break out i break out and then i will be using my bh cosmetics brush in number three to blend that in not too much because you do want that to just stay hover over the skin i feel weird doing my makeup without a mirror you the camera. that's what i'm using after I put my foundation on, we shall answer one question. But now that I have um, primed my face, half, half primed my face, I'm going to use the um, NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting um, Setting Spray. And I think this was, don't quote me from Priceline, I think it was about $30 for the bottle. But again, like I'm saying, it's literally water in a bottle. So just, I don't know what this is for, but I use it anyway because I've got dry skin. <laughs> So guys, if I was to pee in a bottle, she'd just use it because she's got dry skin. But babe, it's different. Paying for look at that. Look, it didn't even blend. And the next step is foundation. Now I've got fake tan on. So do I have another? One? I use the Wet n Wild Photo, Photo Focus Foundation in the shade um, Desert Beige, and this one's perfect for what's it called when you are tanned using the Bondi Sands tan. This is what you want to film. Yeah, I'm gonna answer questions, but a makeup tutorial as well. We've literally dumped it all over our face. I think this is how I do my makeup. Mm -hmm. I'm I want it to be a light makeup because I don't do heavy makeup every single day so I'll get Ned to answer the first question okay the first question is mar is marriage life how you thought it would be yes elaborate I am I elaborating but yes it is I pretty much got a lifetime worth of vacuuming cleaning <laughs> cooking nah it's just what it is I, I've always expected it to be like this and when I say a little bit, I mean like legitimately a tiny bit. Put some on the bridge of your nose, I feel really. And then on your chin. Why don't you answer the question, sorry. I am like, is marriage life how you thought it would be? It's a lot better than what you thought it would be. I honestly <clears throat> didn't want to get married in the beginning. So as you can see, and then what I'm going to do is just blend that in, like feather it in need a really good stippling brush for this by the way mine's 
pretty old, but it does the job. I haven't bought makeup in many, many years, like in probably two to three years now. But yeah, marriage life is what I've expected it to be. Nothing is over the top or nothing is not what I expected, if that makes sense. And then after my concealer, we've done the concealer. After my concealer, I want to do cream contouring. I haven't done cream contouring in about four years now, ever since I've worked for Napoleon Purtis. And I think this is now out of date, but we're gonna use it anyway, because this is all I've got. Um, it's the Rimmel London Insta Duo Contour Stick in dark, obviously, as you can see, and I have not used it, but I'm going to be popping a line. Oh my God, that's really dark. Like that. I've blended my foundation perfectly. Down my nose as well, like on each side. And then if you want to contour your, the tip of your nose, you just do exactly that. What you do is you either grab a stippling brush, like the one we were using before. Do I need to contour anywhere else? And I, and I might fart it, obviously. And then what you want to do is either a stippling brush or a beauty sponge. Um, don't quote me on this. I think this is by Morphe, this beauty sponge, and it was about $50. You can legitimately use your own sponge at home that you use in the kitchen, but this one works really well. What I'm going to do to actually blend that is push it downwards. You don't want to be pushing up. Always freaking downwards. All right, next question. One second. Look at that blend. Um, what's the most annoying thing about each other? <laughs> Be my guest answer first. No, you answer first this time. Okay. What's the most annoying thing about you? When I'm ready, like when I get ready, <laughs> like when I've done my makeup and when I'm ready for the day, this happens on Mondays usually, Mondays and Tuesdays are his days off, he expects me to get in bed with a full face of makeup on and just like cuddle, but I've already, he, like he doesn't understand that I've already been up for six hours and I'm like halfway through my day anyway, so like getting into bed at 8am when I've woken him up. Oh, it's not really 8 a.m. Yeah, it is 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. when I've woken him up, it's like my 1 p.m. in my head. But nothing else. Oh, and his farts annoy me a little bit. What annoys me about her? Everything else. Don't lie. She doesn't eat. We're working She's on sick that. all the time. <laughs> That's She's true. dying on the ground <laughs> half the nights. <laughs> Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> <laughs> she has bitch fits all the time. No, that's a lie. I don't. He thinks when I'm focused She's on... She's so dramatic. <laughs> when I'm focused on something, like when I'm focused on my work or oh, something, okay. he thinks I'm angry. Yes. Or when I'm cleaning, he thinks I'm angry. It's like, no, I'm not angry. She's angry. I'm just cleaning. She's angry. She tells me to do something. But she wants it at whatever convenience for her time. Like, she never thinks and stops thinking, hey, does this kid need to do anything today? I always ask you, what's our plans for today? <laughs> I always ask you first. Next, what we're going to be doing, oh my god, that's going to fall. What we're going to be doing? <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing, sorry, is what was I doing? I'm not bronzing my face, we'll be setting my face and. I don't have another powder at the moment, so I'm going to be using my Lust Minerals powder, even though I said I won't be using Lust Minerals. So this one is in the shade um, 06. I also have 07 over here, but we'll just be using 06 anyway. I have not contoured my face this much in my life. Our dogs want to come inside. Was that our dogs or was that a car? No, that was, that was Abby or Oreo in the door. Okay, very lightly. We'll call them in. We'll get them in, sorry. Very lightly, not too much. And then now we're going to be powder contouring our face. We've done the cream contour, but now we're going to do the powder contour. Uh, what I have with me today is two products. One, the Benefit Buller. I use the Benefit Buller every single day. And this was $59, $60, don't quote me, I think. But it's lasted me many, many years. Like, I know it looks tiny, but it's lasted me years. And then the second thing I have, oh my God, is the... Um, <laughs> Models own um, palette. It's like a 
eyeshadow, no sorry, contouring, bronzing kind of palette. And then the third thing I have is another Last Minerals product, but this is a pressed bronzer in 03. At the moment, this one looks the darkest, so I think I'm going to be using the Last Minerals bronzer. Let's go with the next question. What's the hardest thing about living with someone now? Your turn. The hardest thing living with you? Yeah, what's the hardest thing about living with someone? Uh, there's nothing hard. Sharing a toilet. But we don't obstruct each other. We don't. Because I wake up super early and by the time... You do your own thing, I do my own thing. Like, there's literally nothing hard about living with each other. I guess we just... We... We're not roommates, so that's why it's not hard. Like... Yeah, would it be different if we, like... Yeah, because it'd be awkward. Hmm. Like, we're really comfortable with each other. Yeah, it's... It, kind of... The question is kind of weird too because it said someone. So, like, if you were living with your roommate... I'm, I'm guessing girl or boy, it would be hard. Number one, because you can't, like, he'll fart next to me or I will burp next to him or I'll just change my top next to him or whatever, so it's not hard. Um, but I guess if you were living with a roommate, that makes things a lot more difficult. And in the sense where it's like the kitchen is under my control because I'm the woman of the house kind of thing as well. And again, when you're living with a roommate, that's not the case. Like you've got to share that kitchen, you've got to share the stuff in there. Um, how can I say? You've got to sort of figure out your own meals and plans for the week and do your own shopping. But we do everything together and it's like whatever I cook, we eat kind of thing. What happened? I had a very bad shot. Okay, so we've done one bronzing and then I'm going to be using this dark shade over here from the model's owner palette. I'm just gonna put away my brushes as I go so I don't mess up the place. You damn, you damn. Yeah, well, you pay money for your games. But I played the games. And I play with makeup. You don't use the makeup. I just wanna see. Okay, next is blush. And what I'm gonna be using for blush is, I think this is the NARS Super Orgasm. <laughs> yeah, that's the name. <laughs> Thing. So it's just like a peachy kind of pinky colour. I wonder what a highball orgasm would be. No, there's orgasm and then there's super orgasm. How long have you guys been together? Oof. A little over a year. Over a year and a half. Has it been that much already? Yeah. What does Ned do for work? <sighs> what don't I do for work? Like, I do everything. I'm a one man stop. <laughs> nah, I run a pizza shop, guys. I own and work at a pizza shop slash kebab shop. But then I also do shisha on the side. I'll pop the shisha company's name on the screen for you guys. My setup is absolutely shit, so I'm sorry with all of these angles you guys are gonna see. But like I said, this is legit how I do my makeup every single morning. I never put blush on and I feel so weird putting blush on. But anyway, that was um, the NARS Super Orgasm. Now we're moving into my eyeshadow and I am I've got two palettes here I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette you know what I'm gonna do oh, something a little bit different so I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette I want to do something different let's see so first off I'm going in with a white base so I'll, pop, I'll show you guys as well just this one over here and then I'll be going in with a orange transition shade that one over there I'm gonna go to the top I'm not gonna ruin you Hurry up because I want you to answer this question. How did you guys meet? By the way, your videos are so uplifting and inspiring. Thank you so much. But go ahead, answer this one while I do my eyeshadow. I'll say that again. How did we meet? How did you guys meet? Um, we met on Instagram. I messaged her. We actually had a talk about this because we were confused who messaged who first, but I had gotten out of a relationship. So at the time, I didn't want anything to do with anyone. We went into our DMs. I worked my magical charm. He did not have any charm. And I tricked her. And, and didn't look at us today. No, but I remember telling him, <laughs> I actually remember telling him that I didn't want anything to do with a male. As in yeah. like, I was talking to him here and there. This girl was turned off guys. Legitimately. I just didn't want nothing to do with any guy whatsoever. Abby. I didn't 
want a relationship Abigail. yeah so i told him that i didn't want a relationship i said i had just gotten out of a really really toxic relationship and that i had no trust in men basically and i had i didn't want anything to do with anyone and he accepted he said that's cool and then a couple of days later after he initially messaged me he um, put up a post. My post was about Abby because Abby was a little puppy back then. So my post was about Abby and he commented on that, but I can't remember what he said. And then a couple of days later, obviously I have a really bad habit of not replying to people even till today. Like I just forget. <laughs> it's I, a true story. No, honestly, I just actually true forget. Story and I feel so bad. Anyway, and then I apologized for not replying to him because what I forgot was I had replied to his story, which had his friend's dog in there, but I hadn't replied to his message, if that made sense. And I was like, oh my God, you idiot. Like, you, it looks so bad on you. So I apologized and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sorry, I didn't see this. I just saw this right now. And then, um, yeah, from there we started talking. Then the third time he messaged me back, but a couple of days later, I forgot about it again. Anywho, then one day I'm sitting at my auntie's house and they were, talk they were talking about my cousin being, they were talking about her being with someone at the time and how that boy from Melbourne had ruined her life, right? Yeah, and then we were talking about that. Then it came to my mind that I'm actually speaking to someone. Well, not speaking to someone, but like there is somebody that I was talking to. Oh, do you know what I mean? And then I'm like, oh my God, I didn't reply to him again. Like once again, you look like a freaking idiot. <laughs> So I went back into there and at this point we have something in our culture called um, Eid and no Ra Ramadan, Ramadan and um, Eid so like where we fast and then after the fast you um, go to each other's house and have a big celebration and whatnot so that was gonna happen and at that time it was Ramadan and he was fasting so there was no point in us going for coffee or anything because he wasn't gonna be able to drink um, and he turned around and asked me he goes after Ramadan do you can we go out for a coffee am I right mm -hmm. and at this point, a week or something later, a couple of days or a week later, I was flying out to Turkey. Come around after Ramadan is Eid. And obviously, what am I going to do? See my family before I fly out to Turkey for Eid or see a guy that I've just met? So we had planned it. He said, do you want to go have coffee? I said, yes, I would love to um, because like, you know, whatever, I've got nothing to lose kind of thing. Come around the day that we're meant to go on a date. I never told him this, but yes, I was a bit nervous and I was like, oh my God, should I go? Blah, blah, blah. I didn't know how to tell my dad as well. Not that I would would have lied to him, but like, I just didn't know how to tell my dad. And then I turned around and I said to him, because my dad said to me that I had to go to my auntie's house before we went overseas. So basically I couldn't go anywhere. So I told him that I said, hey, look, you know, my dad's going to my auntie's house um, and I'm not going to be able to come. I'm so sorry. I know it's last notice, blah, blah, blah. You know what he turned around and said to me? He's like, it's okay. I'll wait after you come back from Turkey. And at that moment, I was like... <laughs> this is where you come back to, I tricked her. There's no girl like this that exists. Like, he would have friend zoned me at that moment, but he turned around and said, I'm going to wait for you to come back from Turkey. So number one, I was like, there's no running away from this. Number two, I was like, what the fuck just happened? That's basically it, guys. And then I picked her up from the airport. Oh yeah, and he picked me up from the airport too. And she was like, oh my god, this guy is a keeper. You didn't bring me coffee, hey? I brought her flowers. Okay, I'm gonna answer the last question. But, which, lip which lipstick? I don't know, the, they both look ugly. Just, they both look ugly. Just choose one, babe. I don't want to, they both look really bad. Gold or normal? Just say one. I don't want to, they're ugly. Well, I'm gonna use the gold box one. Is how come you got married so fast and did you wait until marriage? Didn't we already answer this? No, that was, that was the very first question, so it's the last question. Look, I came, I came back from Turkey. This girl here said, hurry up. <laughs> I, I said hurry up in the sense where like, you know, one year. <laughs> she said hurry up. So the next day... It smells so good. I proposed to her. <laughs> yeah, literally the next day he proposed to me. Maybe this And then was one week later, great. our engagement party happened and then one week later, something else happened from our traditional side. And then like three weeks, about no, how long was the wedding after that? About maybe four months later, mm. our wedding happened. And also because of COVID as well. Yeah. 
And also, she doesn't want um, pretty much a wedding. She yeah, don't I don't want a wedding. Oh my god. Okay, that is all. Yeah, but that's the last question. I finished my makeup. That was the quickest actually makeup tutorial that I've ever done in my life. Mm -hmm. But. You don't need a yeah, no, I used this one. I'm gonna show it. You look like a clown. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You know, it's horrible. Fuck. Go like, go like your face. Yes. Be serious. What like? I didn't even punch my face because I got that much shit on it. You get rid of it. You don't like. <laughs> you don't like looking at me like this. You've got like twenty different colors on your face. Anyway, that was the whole point of the video, legitimately doing my makeup wrong for him to see and to get his reaction, but I need to go wipe this off because this looks absolutely bizarre because I look like the Joker. She looks like nobody owns her. I look like the Joker. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, don't forget to share it with your friends and family, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I actually cannot even look in the viewfinder because I look like a putrid. But if you guys have any video suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next week with a new video. Look at that. So that's what I couldn't watch? Yeah, that's what you couldn't read. This is dumb. This was asked of people. Anyway, bye.